Good old Rusty here on the table now, we can finally get him stripped. Um, the little one will be at school till after tea today, for after school activities. So it gives me a little time to crack on and get some jobs done on the trucks. And I've got my Scania chassis and stuff like that down here drying out, so I can hopefully get that prime today. And even possibly this, if we have time. So... I've stripped all necessary bits and bats, everything off the truck, and look at getting him stripped down and all this paint removed. Now, I previously said it's never been primed or anything like that, and you can literally just pick the paint off. So this shouldn't be a tricky task, just a nice quick one. So I'm going to paint it in this. Now this is graffiti remover it's water soluble and if you look it's for polycarbonate safe and it's in a plastic tub so usually if it comes in a plastic tub you're all right to use it on a plastic body now I have used paint strippers in the past and yep they come in a plastic tub they've stripped the paint fine but then they've left the plastic soft and it was a scanner I've done in the past when I come to strip the paint on the arches on the black parts it melted them but I've never ever quite failed or gone wrong with this graffiti remover now it's called Dissolve It now you might be able to find some of this on eBay they used to stock it in um, screw fix but they no longer do but I've got some so I'm sure with a little Google search you might be able to find maybe this product or something as of the same like solution. So it's really easy. All we're going to need for this is like I say, the graffiti remover, a paintbrush and then we'll uh, sneak into the kitchen and get a couple of scowling pads just to um, wipe off the excess. So that's the body removed off the chassis and again polycarbonate safe gel for use on surfaces such as signs, shutters, walls and bus shelters for the removal of inks, paints and graffiti. So always test an area for colour fastness etc blah de blah de blah. Now we don't need to on this, I've done it in the past, I know it all works. So we don't need to be shy with it. Get it on there quite nice and thick. I've only got this little paintbrush to hand at the minute. But bigger one, smaller one, don't really matter. And you can use this for like if you just need to strip certain areas. If you can be neat. So all we're going to do is just paint this on thick. Around the whole truck. Especially getting into like all the detailing inside all the little cracks and edges and just plaster it in there don't be shy with it if you want a good finish and you want your truck to look good just get it on there get that paint stripped Uh, so now we've got that pretty heavily coated in the graffiti remover. And now we're going to leave it for 15 minutes 
20 minutes we'll just have to see how the paint starts reacting and then uh, it's just a case of because it's heavily on there just keep working all the solution in just keep working it into the paint and eventually you'll start seeing paint bubbling like this section here you see it's just washing off the corner the more it works in the more it'll wash off as I said you just got to keep working it in there you can see it's stripping it so basically I'm going to like I said, leave it for 15 minutes. I'm going to go and make a coffee now. And you're on the GoPro here. So I'm just going to leave this GoPro running here. And then we can speed it up. So I'll put this a little closer to the camera. And then I might be able to slowly see the paint start bubbling. So I'll go and grab a coffee. And I'll check with you guys in about 10-15 minutes. If you take a little close look around the roof here, you can really see where it's bubbling. Now that's just a graffiti mover working itself into it. Now we're about five minutes in, I said to give 15 minutes, maybe 20. Now I'm just coming back, keep rubbing the uh, thing in, the solution into the bodywork, and you can see it all stripping away as I'm rubbing it in, and it's bubbling more here and everywhere. And the more the solution gets under the paint that's already lifting, that helps. So you've always got to keep working it in and keep it thick on there. So I shall go finish my brew and uh, give it another 5-10 minutes. So now as you can see it's really really bubbled so let's work some of this in a bit more and it'll strip off everywhere it's bubbled but by working it in as I stated it gets back under the paint that's not lifted and then it can start lifting that but as you can see it's literally just brushing off the side of the truck. So here we are 20 minutes in, I just went over it again like 5 minutes ago, just to start eating into the other paint. Now if you're painting a truck and it's had like auto paints on where it's been primed and lacquered and base coated etc etc, you may need to do it 2 or 3 times, but as you can see it works, it's just bubbling the paint off everywhere, there's the bonnet. So now with your brush or scowler, I'll go and grab a scowler in a minute, but as you can see just with a paintbrush. Now if you're left with little bits that you can't remove, it's not a problem. Just go and wash your truck off with your cab or parts or whatever you're stripping. And just get rid of all the old residue all the old paint and then you know exactly what you're left with on the cab and you can just go and touch them areas in with your solution and just give it as long as it takes just to bubble them excess bits off so this is made really light light work of this so all I've done is painted it all on put it on quite thick everywhere rubbed it all in Left it for 15 to 20 minutes, come back, just rubbed some excess and put a bit more on, 
just to help with a broken pane. Made a brew, had my brew, and here we are stripping. So in the time to have a coffee, and most of the hard work is done regarding stripping. Now a lot of people get really, really, really put off by all this because they think sanding paper, flattening down, rubbing, rubbing, flattening, sanding, etc. Nah, it's not as bad as you think. It's just finding the right solution. And like I say, might take two or three turns, depending on how much paint's actually under there. But, well, you see it all just blobbing off. I'm going to get all this excess off, give it a wash and then we can have a look what's left, see what needs doing then I can flip it over and do the inside so I've just brought this out into the backyard and now we can uh, give it a horse pipe and a wipe down and then we'll know what we're left with to clean off Ooh, it's cold I'm just going to give it a wipe over with a scowler. It's a used one, so it's not like got stiff bristles and going to be scratching it. Not that I'm too bothered with this because there's a lot of scratches in the bodywork, but I'll build that up with a bit of eye build primer or some filler primer. So I'll just give this a quick rub down. And then we might just put a little bit more on it just to get the excess on. So it's just had a rinse, a few little bits left, it will come off easy enough but I'm going to be flipping it, get all this paint off from underneath and um, while I'm at that I'll just go over all these little lines and detailing parts and the little bits that it hasn't got off and just repeat that process again and then the cab should hopefully be nice and white. Well, there's a lot of scratches in it from where it's been rubbed down or what have you in the past but it's something or nothing it all adds to the details that i want i don't want it to look new obviously it's going to have a new paint job but it's going to get roughed up from there right now we've got the second coat in for the detailing bits and stuff like this you can do it the first time round, but an old toothbrush and then just work it into the edges and all the detailing bits all the bonnet lines, door lines, everything now, it doesn't matter what truck you're doing you're going to get all the detailing bits so if you're planning on um, doing anything like this an old toothbrush is the perfect tool for this sort of job so i'm going to go ahead now and i'm just going to work my way through all these little bits of detailing and everything else and then i'm going to give it a wash some nice warm soapy water get rid of the old residue and everything else and then we can take a look at what it looks like so there we have it guys that's rusty all stripped down all the paint off well, to the best I can, there's still tiny little bits in the edges, but 
and little bits which are still behind like the glue but I'm sticking another visor over here as I've said this is an old truck which I ain't too fussed about what happens to it paint wise I don't want it to be perfect um, obviously if this was going to be a much nicer truck then I'd probably start with a fresh cab with all the scratches but wanting that old look but basically there's a cab strip just using a paintbrush, a toothbrush, a scowling pad and some desolvit graffiti remover so I can let this dry off now and then I can get that primed up and think of some old colours maybe a golden green I don't know we'll see <laughs> so yeah again just a few items apply all the solution work it in give it a good working get it in all the cracks and everything else um, maybe 20 minutes or so give it a good rub off give it a wash see what's left and then if you need to go again go again you might need three times four times but it's certainly a hell of a lot easier than sand sanding so if you like the video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button bash the notification bell and i shall catch you guys in the next video ciao for now guys